Welcome back. It is so good to see you. I hope that you are having a great week so far. If this is our first time ever meeting, then welcome to More Basics. Hello, hi, my name is Ashley and it is a pleasure to meet you. So we just moved into this house three months ago and I believe it was Patricia. She said, hey, just put stuff in the general area of where it needs to go and then whenever you get settled, you can go back and revamp and reorganize, you know, and get all of that done. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And we just finished up with the kitchen and that was our last video. Now in that video, I told you that I had picked a few things up from the thrift store. So I have reorganized and redecorated and moved some stuff around. So at some point I am gonna take you in there and I'm gonna show you the kitchen and some of the things that I have done. But I've been such a busy little bee this morning and I've gotten so much done. But in this video, we are going to refresh the living room. There's some things that I wanna do in here. Uh, I guess that's the plan at this point. We're just gonna go from room to room and revamp, reorganize and you know just get things in order since we are you know pretty settled now um, but we're also going to make some barbecue ribs so that's actually what we're going to do first we're going to get those going because I want those to cook for two to three hours something like that I've only made barbecue ribs in the oven maybe twice in my entire life, so I did look up a recipe for that, so I'm going to try that. So we'll get those ribs going, and then we're going to get started and get some things done here in the living room, but I hope that you had a great weekend as well. It's just, I'm so happy and excited to be here with you. Um, I'm going to sit down this afternoon at my desktop with my prayer journal. I'm going to go through the comments and uh, get every everything up to date. We were so busy over the weekend. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So today I really need to kick it in gear and try to get so much done. But let's go ahead and get the ribs started and then we'll see what we can get done. Back of the package on my ribs said to cook them at 350 degrees for one and a half to two hours. It also said to cook them in like a shallow pan or baking dish. I did remove the skin that was on the back of the ribs, but that part always kind of creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> so I spared you with having to watch that. But most of the recipes that I seen called for you to baste your ribs in mustard. It works as a binder and then apparently it gives it a little bit more flavor as well. So I did season them very liberally. I used garlic powder. I used paprika and I used a Louisiana Cajun seasoning and then I also used some onion powder. I did not add salt and pepper to them because I don't know I just thought maybe that these seasonings have enough salt in them and I didn't want them to be too salty. But after I got the front side se seasoned I just flipped them over, seasoned the other side just as well and then we will pop these into the oven. been wanting a lantern to go on the fireplace not only for decoration but also you know utilitarian purposes if the power ever goes out it's just a nice thing to have so I asked my mother if she had any extra ones that I could have 
and turns out mom had a lot <laughs> and so this is the one that I chose and you know it was rusty it's in bad shape but it does work and the spray paint that's being used it is like flame resistant so it's okay to use it on this lantern but my husband insisted that he was going to be the one to spray paint it, which I'm glad that he did because he is so good about paying attention to details and doing things the right way. And me, I'm just all about just slapping it on there and hoping for the best. <laughs> but I will show you how this turns out here in just a little bit. But we're going to paint a little bit more as well. I want to paint the bottom of this fireplace. I just had some Valspar paint, um, you know, it's brand name, nice paint. I had actually picked this up uh, when I had the yard sale. A lady was only asking 25 cents for it. So that's what um, I am going to paint this with and we'll get it looking good. and hopeless when I was at my worst it's grace that you extended that I did not deserve I am so amazed by all you have done I cannot explain the depth of your love
I got both of these deers from my grandmother who passed away just uh, seven months ago. I was cleaning out her house and the bear that we painted that's, um, you know, next to the fireplace on the bottom, that was also hers. She had all kinds of really cool, like, animals, um, like knickknacks and decor and stuff like that. So, I had the hardest time decorating this mantle for some reason <laughs> I, I just I don't know why I couldn't get it together but sometimes you just have to keep messing with it until you just finally get it the way that you want it and I didn't want it to be like too overcrowded and too cluttered looking up here I did want to just try to keep it simple I tried putting this um, cast iron bear up there it's super heavy but I ended up putting that outside I had this little bear by the front door but I decided to bring him in his little light it does light up I just need to get a new light bulb for it and then I think he will be so cute sitting there and he's holding a welcome sign I got both of these picture frames from the Dollar General and they were five dollars each which is pushing it for me but when I seen them I just loved them so much and I just really wanted them so <laughs> I got them time decorating the mantle. I have no idea why, but that was very hard. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So I have these pillowcases. I bought them off of Amazon when we first moved in and I just, I've never put them on the couch. I actually thought about putting them into the yard cell just because, you know, I don't want too many pillows on there that I'll have to move around, but these may be good for back support. But here's the real question. I bought these really nice feather pillows they are so comfortable they're really really nice but I gave two dollars each for them will they fit into the pillowcases I really hope so <laughs> but we're about to find out Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I From the ground, let you know that I'm always around. Cause I know we can make it. Yes, we can make it if we try. Keep on trying.
just call on me. Call on me. And I'll help you carry some of that weight. I want to make you understand. Let you know that there's always a helping hand. Because I know. We can make it if we try. Keep on a trying. I know it looks like that cabinet is just so cluttered, but actually I do have it organized. I guess it's my organized mess, but in that side up top, I keep my fingernail supply stuff, everything that I need, my polish, all of that, my UV light, if I want to do gel nails. And then in the bottom, I keep weights and jump robes and like exercise stuff. And then now on the right side, both sides, the top and the bottom, that is all medical supplies. So we will go through this at a later time and see if I can't organize it maybe just a little bit better. But truthfully, I just went through that before we went um, and had the yard sale and got rid of some stuff. So it is pretty good right now, even though it looks like it's not.
Okay, the living room is done. It's refreshed. That's exactly how I'm going to leave it. I'm happy with it. It feels cozy, but it is time to put some sauce on these ribs. So we love this Sticky Fingers, the original. Uh, we buy the big bottles because this is our favorite sauce, and I'm really down to the bottom of it, but that should be plenty of sauce to put on these ribs. They've been cooking for two hours now. Uh, I'm going to do baked potatoes. I got four small potatoes over here. I just washed them and dried them off. Um, so we'll put those back into the oven with the ribs, and they should cook in about 30 minutes since they're small. But we're also going to do some sweet corn. Uh, this is from our garden from last year. We really are down to the bottom on the corn on the cob. I've got one more large bag of corn in the freezer. And then we've got, you know, tons of it in bags uh, off of the cob where we cut it off and we have all of that frozen. But actually on the cob, we're down to the bottom. But this was just the best corn. It was so good. Um, so I'm excited for uh, that corn. But while that is cooking, I'm going to take you around and show you a couple things that I picked up at a yard sale and a couple thrift stores. Um, you know that I love to thrift. <laughs> I am a cheapo and a bargain shopper and I love to find a good deal on things. It just it makes me really happy. So I'm going to show you a few things that I picked up and a few things that I moved around. But let's go ahead and get these ribs going. I'm full messed up here so I'll have to go back and fix that later but the way that I do my baked potatoes is uh, the same way that Outback Steakhouse does their potatoes apparently. I found this recipe on Pinterest many years ago and I just have used it ever since but basically you just simply cover them in olive oil and then you sprinkle them with kosher salt you don't uh, poke any holes or anything like that in the potatoes you just leave them as is it's super easy and i really like the crisp salty skin on the outside um do you eat the skin on your potatoes your baked potatoes I personally love the skin. My husband does not eat the skin. He will eat the inside and then give me the skin to eat because I love it. <laughs> okay, so I did redecorate the shelf and move some stuff around. I moved some jars. I put a different basket up there and I just decluttered it a little bit. So I like this better. And then instead of that little tray, I put this cutting board down. This was made for me by a guy at church, and he actually put all of these different kinds of wood pieces together. So I just really like that there a whole lot better. I picked these up. I paid $1 each for them. These are more Midwestern just because we don't have brown bears. We do have bald eagles. Um, we don't have moose here and we don't have wolves. So they are more Midwestern, but I thought they were so pretty. So I have ordered a couple little stands for these and they were supposed to come today from Amazon, but they did not. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put those up here above that cabinet because that's the spot that um, I have for them but I just really like them so I just put my little fruit bowl here got some bananas in there I did get this little chicken at the thrift store I thought she was so pretty she was 25 cents I did add a bow we are in beautiful East Tennessee so Orange and white are her colors, so I just put that little bow there. Over here on this side, I had moved some stuff around as well. 
Uh, I put the cake stand up there, which I'd like to find a little something to go in that cake stand. Uh, this was my mother-in-law's. I got it out of her building. Just thought that little thing was cute. Um, and then the other thing I got was this little red bird. <laughs> 25 cents is what I got for that. I paid for that one at the thrift store. But yeah, I just moved some things around some jars and stuff like that and I just I like it a lot better I still don't have my jars filled up but I will very soon I just want to make sure all of the ants are gone before I do that I got this little stand at a yard sale for 25 cents and I picked these two books up from the thrift store and I am so enjoying going through them I've already been marking so many different recipes that I'm wanting to try with you so I ended up putting this little tray here instead of over here and I picked this up at the thrift store. I gave two dollars for it. It's Bath and Body Works Spiced Apple Toddy. I don't know but it's brand new and it smells so good. So I was happy to get a candle because I'm not really a candle person at all. Um, so I was just I'm happy to get that second hand and it smells amazing. So over here, I did just put this little sign up that says, bless this nest. I didn't have anywhere else to put it. But the other thing that I got was this little eat sign. I got it at a yard sale for 50 cents. And I just put it on that little tray that I already had. So that is a new addition. Over here, I put the welcome sign above the door. I had that in the yard sale. It did not sell. So I just found a spot for it in here. And then in the dining room, I put this big sign, Home Sweet Home, above the window there. We do have our boat in here right now. <laughs> It'll probably be in here all summer. I don't mind because, you know, we can just grab it and go to the river whenever we want to. But over here, I did some organizing and some decorating. Um, this needed to be done, but this little basket, I got it for a dollar at the thrift store. I think it's so pretty, and I'm keeping like some of my essential oils and stuff like that in there. Right now, in the Scentsy, I've got this honeysuckle and pineapple. It's pretty good. Um, I had another one in there, sea, uh, sage and sea salt, and I did not like it. Okay, but over here, this is my mother-in-law's, so I just got it to put pieces of mail in. On this side, I picked up these two picture frames at a yard sale. They were brand new. I had to unwrap them and take them out of the box, and I paid $3, so $1.50 each for those. This is the little pot that we spray painted a couple videos back, and I got these from the Dollar General for $1. This I was excited about. I got it for a dollar at the thrift store, and it's real crystal. It's really heavy. It's making me want to go back and look for some more, but $1, and I'm going to keep mints and cinnamon disc and stuff in there. We love cinnamon disc. And then over here in the corner, I just put a pitcher and um, this little lamp. I love this little lamp. But I'm also going to have to get a few pictures developed to go in these frames right here. So I will do that very soon when I get time to sit down. And then I just put this little thing up here. Uh, if you were with me for the yard sale, a lady had given me some stuff when she went to leave. And she gave me this. So I just kind of stuck it up here. And then on the table here, I just put this little plant, salt and pepper shakers, and then um, some toothpicks. But yeah, this is what we've got for right now. I feel like it feels clean. And whenever I get those pictures in there, then it'll be complete. I'll be happy with this. Here's what it looks like from this view and our boat up close here. But I'm still using the outdoor chairs. I have not found any chairs for the table, but that's okay. The only people that come to visit me is you, and when you show up, you're not going to be surprised that you're going to be sitting in an outdoor chair. <laughs> So now we're just waiting on the food to finish. I'm going to clean and pick up a few things. My sweetie will be here in just a minute. And it's clean. It's cozy. I've got a good meal going. It smells so good like ribs when you walk through the door. So praise the Lord for that. But I've actually, I've been kind of sad today. Uh, we're expecting some news. Um, I don't want to say anybody's name because I'm always afraid, you know, to be disrespectful. But 
her aunt is expecting some news today at 2.30 um, to see just how much the cancer has grown. And so I've just been in prayer about that and just, I just feel kind of sad. I wish I could just hug her and, you know, just love on her. And then somebody else, their husband has bone cancer and a tumor has come up. So there's just so many needs and so much going on. And it just, I don't know, it just absolutely breaks my heart. So just know that I'm thinking about you and I am praying for you and that I love you and uh, you're not in this alone. I, I wish there was something I could do and just be there for you. But we're going to finish up the food. Of course, we're going to do a taste test. And listen, if this is your first time ever tuning in, let me just tell you. There's this story. It's an axe in the Bible, okay? And it's in chapter 26, and basically there's this guy, and his name is Paul, and he is sent to prison for preaching the gospel, essentially. And there's this big earthquake that goes down. Well, with the earthquake, it knocks the prison gates down and the doors are wide open, you know, and some of the prisoners um, could escape if they wanted to. Here's their opportunity. Well, this Roman guard, he walks in and he sees what has happened and he pulls out his sword and he is just about to kill himself because he knows that he's a dead man. And Paul speaks up and he's like, whoa, wait a minute, man. We're all here. We didn't run off. We're all here. And the Roman soldier, he asked in verse 30, he says, what must I do to be saved? And Paul answers back and he says, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your household will be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All of this stuff that we're decorating with, it's so much fun. And, you know, and it's such a privilege that we have homes and that we get to decorate them and everything. But at the end of the day, the most important decision that you could ever make is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the way to do that, just like in this story, is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I hope that you have made that decision. But if you haven't, just know that... Salvation is for everyone. God loves everyone. There's nothing that you could ever do to make God not love you. You're never too far gone for Jesus. But anyways, I'm going to pick back up here in just a minute. We'll do a taste test and then we'll wrap this video up for the day. Thank you for spending time with me. I'm so glad that we get to decorate and, you know, just experience life together. I'm just, um, I'm very thankful for you for sure. complete and here is what it is looking like. I'm not putting extra barbecue sauce on the ribs because my husband will put it in a cup for like extra dipping sauce and we're down to the bottom but let's go ahead and try the ribs first. They seem very tender. Here we go. First bite goes to you. They have that caramelized taste to them 
they are a 10. Very good. And then I just got a small baked potato. So for my baked potato, I put butter, cheese, bacon bits, and sour cream. And a little bit of black pepper. Very good. And lastly, this corn. This is golden queen corn, by the way. I put a little bit of salt on mine as well. I have to give this a 10. <laughs> I, sorry, I can go ahead and tell you that David's going to give this a 10 as well. It's very good. So, thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings. But, I am going to cook my dinner. Uh, <laughs> cook my dinner. Wow. I'm going to eat my dinner and then get a few things done. So, I'm going to go ahead and say bye here. I love you. I hope that you are still fighting that good fight of faith. And the Lord willing, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I did want to show you before we end the video that I got my plates up here and I like them. I think they look pretty there. I gave one dollar each for those. I also found some pictures to go in these frames. This is David's mom and daddy and this is my mom and daddy and then I've got a picture of David and I there and lastly I changed the basket that was here and I put a different picture frame there this is me and my grandmother she's been gone almost nine years now and David's mom and dad got this a long time ago at the fields of the woods and it does work so I put that up there with my other lantern